26, fam. I know. So excited. Tricks on Tuesday from New York City. It's coming to you in t tomorrow. Yeah, that's going to be a fast one. So here's the deal. We will, please like our video. Please subscribe to our channel. But then we need you to do one more thing. Give us a shout out on social media. Instagram, can, Facebook, tell people to follow us. You can us, follow, us on, follow tell, us on Instagram at Real Life with the Copelands. Yes. It's Real Life with the Copelands. Yes. And then it's Kimberly Shea Copeland on Facebook. Yes. We are going to work on getting a public, but for now, that's what we've got. Yeah. So in Instagram, it's Real Life with the Copelands. But if you'll give us a shout out, share one of our vlogs, share one of our favorite vlogs. One of your favorite vlogs. Your favorite vlogs. One of your favorite vlogs. <laughs> Our and favorite then, vlogs is each one we do every week. Kimberly, every week I she just she's a good one. She, she does the vlogs. She's like, oh, this is my this favorite is such one. A good one. I'm like, she she said it on every yeah. one. So here's the deal. Give us a shout out if you will. Share your favorite vlog and tag us. We're gonna do something for everyone who does that. Let's do it. We don't know what. If you do it, comment under this video and tell us you did it, and make sure you tagged us on Facebook um, and Instagram, but then tell us you did it, and we're gonna do something special for y'all when we, we get home. Sounds good, okay. I'm with it. All so right. here we are, Tricks on Tuesday. Peace, happy Memorial Day. We're enjoying Memorial Day in New York City. It's we're a actually, gorgeous day. We're in Central Park. I'm actually sweating in this. <laughs> we're in Central Park on the grassy areas. Just hanging out, looking like we're professional. We've got our little smove set up on the yes. tripod, taking some pics. <laughs> yeah, it's been fun. We've had a great day. We ate at a new restaurant today that Shay found. It was very good. We're going to see a show tonight. So, we've had a great trip. We, um... It's Memorial Day. We want to thank all the men and women that allow us to do these great things that we're doing. Yeah, all the sure. freedoms that we have. So we want to give a shout out to, to all those that are serving, that have served, or that are family of people that served. We uh, appreciate your sacrifice. So yes, we, sure. we, we honor you today, for sure. It's emotional. We heard it sounded like some fighter jets yeah. flying over fly over and then here there's a lot of memorials for the men and women that died in 9-11 and serving in 9-11 you see servicemen everywhere we've seen Navy Marines yeah yeah so and, okay y'all so we've been traveling and we didn't we had all of our videos ready except for our tricks and um we thought, oh, we'll just kind of skip tricks on Tuesday until we get back. But we've been getting a lot of requests that they want some, that y'all want some tricks. So we thought, why don't, um, since we're just, we're still on vacation. And we know we travel more than most people. So we are going to give y'all some traveling tricks. So my first thing I want to tell you um, is we've traveled to a lot of foreign countries. We've traveled a lot in the U.S., lots of different destinations, and we sometimes are traveling with 15 people because <laughs> when we go on a trip, usually our kids bring other people along or we take people, friends of ours, and so uh, my first trick is you gotta go with the flow because my experience has been throughout the years that you're going to have things not go right. No matter how much you plan, no matter how organized you are, and Shay is always ultra organized. I am pretty organized about the hotel, what everything that's happening. But I cannot tell you how many trips we've gone on, first of all that we're checking in like 26 bags has been the case on one trip to Costa Rica that we took. And that was like mass chaos at the airport. I don't think they had ever seen anything like it. And then corralling everyone. We truly can see how a child could get lost like on home alone because that really is what it's like when we're traveling with everybody. 
it's like, oh, where's Maverick? Where's Maverick? That, that used to be the key word. Where's Maverick? Yeah, our writer used to laugh. Because uh, we would say, Tanya where's said Maverick? Tanya said, y'all need shirts that say, where's, where's Maverick? Maverick? So, um, it's just, I think we've gotten better, both of us. I mean, I just want to tell y'all a few stories. I mean, one story is that was just Shay and I traveling, and I asked him like 10 times, because I forget everything. I forget things. You know about Chicago? And so I'm like, do you have, because we had paper tickets. Do you have the tickets to the Cubs game? Do you have the tickets to the Cubs game? Yes, 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 yes. We're in the cab, pulling up to our hotel, and he's like, oh my gosh, I left the tickets to the Cubs game at home. No, no. I put them, no, what I did was, is a book that I was reading. I had put them in a book that I was reading. At home. At home and forgot <laughs> the home. book. At home. Yeah. So we thought he had the book and he didn't. So we had to call our life manager and she had to find them and overnight the tickets to us. Luckily the game wasn't the next yes. day. It was the it Yeah, was we had two time. days. We had two days time after to get we got them. there. Yeah. So my point being sometimes you forget things, sometimes things go wrong. We have one trip that we were on with our kids, I mean, there were, we had a ton of bags. Our driver dropped us off at the hotel that our travel agent was supposed to book for us. I wait in this long line. Shay's like corralling the kids, keeping the bags together. And I get up there and they're like, you don't have a reservation here. So I call the travel agent, it's a Saturday night. She's like, yes, she, luckily she answered. She's like, yes, you do. Long story short, she booked us at the wrong hotel. Luckily, we had a driver who came back and picked us up, but that's not always the case. So, which though, all you know, what I found, there's always, um, it's always good to have somebody that's in your group that knows what's going on, is organized, yes, that has somewhat of a plan. Right, right. It's always good to have that person. I mean, I'm yes. generally. He's that, that person. I keep up but with all the passports. That and, particular day, I was in charge. I was very stressed. But it wasn't was her funny. fault. We, yeah, it really we wasn't never her use fault. a travel agent. Yeah. I'm not saying that they're bad or don't use one. We're just saying we don't normally. Yeah. Kimberly's usually the one but researching the hotels yeah. and booking everything. And, and they just booked it wrong. And so, did. but again, we didn't let it ruin our day. No, no. So, go, number one tip: go with. The which even, okay. hold on, but hold on, even, Wait, which even on this trip, oh as we're gosh. talking to you right now, so we get, <laughs> I mean, we've been overseas for 10 days, yeah. and so we come back. I with, booked, let me say this, I booked the nicest room in this particular hotel. I don't want to bash the hotel, so let's not say it. Which the I, hotel's really nice. I booked the nicest room they had. Which had we stayed there before yes. we left for our trip overseas. So I gave some very specifics about what I wanted. And I mean, we paid to have, we paid a lot to have a very nice room. And we get, Al drops us off. Our driver drops so she, us and off. we've been traveling And we like have all these bags. We have all these bags. We go to check in. Yeah. Kimberly goes to the counter. Which she's, she's dealing with the bags. Which she's yelling at me. Find me some chips. I was I'm thirsty. I was I'm, I'm hungry. Like, I went to Rito's Cheetos. So anyways, Ranch so style something. So Give the girl so the girl's like, hold on, I need to go in the back. She like had already scanned my credit card. Everything is like, oh, when she saw the room, I book welcome. And then all of a sudden she's like, Oh, I'm gonna need to go to the back. And I'm like, What? And then she's back there for a long time. Like they're checking all these other people in and I'm like, what in the world? So go ahead, baby, tell the story. Well, you you know it better than I, so. She comes back out. I mean, basically. She's the, like, I just, I am so sorry. They gave away our room. You have the presidential suite and it's gone. We let somebody else stay in it. I'm like, what? And that's only one. And I said, <laughs> okay. Well, do you have a room that's somewhat comparable with a bathtub? And they're like, no. We don't. We don't. We can put you in just an executive suite. And I said, that's fine. It's fine. 
So they said, we'll give you $40. Which the manager, the manager on duty. It was so nice. And she didn't have authority to... Do anything else, to, yeah. So know. it was fine. We're like, fine, just, I mean... So they gave us bad. a full refund and we had to go find another hotel. Yes. So yes. that's, that's a good, I mean, so we had to load all our bags up, get in a taxi, go to other hotel, check again, in. And we're just like, whatever, we'll just move. We so, can, we can find another hotel. So no big deal. Go with the flow. You got to go with the flow. That's the number one rule. Yeah. Go with the flow. And we could tell you probably a thousand more stories like these, which we will in future vlogs. But we know this is a trick, so that's number one of our trick. Which I'm just, I mean, I'll just be, I get a little intense on travel days. You've been better. Travel days. You've been better. I get, if we had to go to the airport, I hate going to the airport. I hate dealing with the airport. I hate dealing with the bags at the airport. That's the only time I get intense. Yeah. Other than that, I'm pretty good. And but. you are going to want to watch our vlog of what happened to us on our flight on our way here. We're not going to tell that on this. It's a long story. But don't miss our trip vlog when we post it. We've got a lot of work to do on it to piece it together. But yeah. you're going to be laughing. It's yeah. definitely a go with the flow moment yeah, as well. We have a lot of go with the flow moments and just stay happy and positive no matter what. That's cool. Okay, so, so our second, second, trick, second trick, 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 tip, trick, 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 whatever you want yep. to say. To say what it is. No, what is it? You want me to say what it is? What's our second trick? My second trick is have fun. <laughs> because why you know, are you spending all this money to not do things you enjoy? And here's the here's the thing. About you know, hold having on, hold on, hold on. No, I I'm gonna interrupt you. I'm gonna interrupt what? you. You know, ask this is what I say every every time that on Memphis's baseball team we get in a huddle before every game. And I asked them, what does Coach Shea, what's the most important thing that I want you, you to do? You watched our vlogs, you heard no, no. him say this. What I want I you to do it. is have fun. And so. so what fun looks like to you, only you know. So here's what Shay and I are super good at. This is a, this is a uh, positive in us. Is even if we're traveling with other people, we know everybody's definition of fun looks different and how people want a vacation looks different. So like for us, sleeping is number one priority. Because we don't do because much of it at home. we don't do that at home. So we want to relax. Yes, we want to tour. Yes, we want to go shop. Yes, we want to go walk around. Yes, we want to eat, dine, and do all these fun things. But we don't get obsessed with being on some kind of rigid schedule. Now, here's the thing. Some people, that is fun to them. They like so that. So if that's you, that's cool. Like, be you. Make your schedule, do your schedule. Now, you're probably not going to want to travel with us because we're not going to do that schedule. But you've got to know what's fun. And this is the other thing, too, is if you're traveling with your family, a trick is knowing what's fun to them. Because if I put my kids on some rigid, we have to do this, we have to do that, we have to go here, we have to go there, every second, they're not gonna enjoy the trip. Because they don't like to do that. Well, and I think, I mean, I guess the big thing is, is communicate, especially if you're on a family yes. trip. What we do people wanna, wanna do? do? What do we, does somebody wanna see something yes. specific? Or do something specific? Yes. Our family is just usually kinda just whatever. We're very whatever. Whatever. People. We'll go with the flow, like we said earlier. But you've got to know what is fun to you. Do you want to stay out late? Do you want to get up early? Do you want to have breakfast every day? Like fun for me is ordering room service every single day and having coffee in bed that we didn't have to make. That's vacation to me. So we know that's fun to us. We know that we're going to sleep in and we're going to stay up till 1 or 2 in the morning and sometimes 3 or 4 because right. that's not what we do at home. So that's vacation to us. Again, well, just you, know what's fun for you. And, then, and, it, and, the, and this is good advice for, you know, if you vacation with other families or other couples, right. or, I mean, people got, might get mad at us if they didn't really know us. Like these people, like they don't want to be around us. They don't ever want to do anything, but that's not who we, first of all, we want to spend time together because our life is so hectic, so that's why we vacation. We vacation then, to be together, number one. We do want to do stuff with people, but we don't want to be on a schedule. second, we don't really want to schedule our life. We don't want to plan. Our life is scheduled at home. Right. Like, 
we don't want to stay on a Sometimes schedule. Sometimes people can receive that the wrong way, I think, with us. It's like, oh, they're not wanting to go with us. It's not that. We're just wanting to do fun the way we do it. And I think we Which don't... Which is nothing. <laughs> we don't. So we don't get mad at somebody else if they want to go tour all day or be up at eight. That's not offensive to us. So I think it's just giving people grace and mercy. Yeah. If you are traveling, because we travel with a lot, a lot, a lot of people. And there's some people that we can totally groove and mesh with in traveling because they get us and we really do just get other people. We don't mm -hmm. have any offense ever. But some people can be a little bit offended, I think, with us because we don't want a plan. So if you're one of our friends and you want to travel with us, you can have a plan. We're not going to have a plan. So oh. that's tip number two is just have fun. You do what's fun to you. Um, the third trip. I think there was an ant on me. Oh my goodness, an ant. <laughs> I'm we are sorry, sitting all We're sitting in the grass in the park. Central Park. Um, I think the third trick is, first of all, is you can't just be whatever where you're going. You got to know the weather and what the weather's going to be like. <laughs> If so, you're going to be walking, he's talking to me. Walking, what kind of, you know, well, I know where you're going. And so. 200 steps in six inch heels. Because I didn't research what we were doing when we so went to there, kiss the Blarney Stone. I thought it was going to be a stone on the ground. I didn't know it was going to hang off the side of a castle upside down to kiss it. Yeah. So my heels were this tall, so but no, I did it. So I made no, it work. know the weather. But know what's happening. And. For sure. Pack, I agree. pack accordingly. Yes. Yes. Um, Kimberly, she didn't do a great job of packing this time, so it's kind of what made me think. I thought I did. Did you have way too many clothes? But I You didn't have. wear everything. Okay, here's what she, happened. And she she told me the weather was going to be cold. My mom told me it was going to be warm. I didn't say it was going to be cold. So I told I you brought, the temperature. I brought weather. I brought clothes for both weathers. Yeah. And I did bring way too many but, I mean, which there was a couple of days it was warmer than they said, but it was mainly stayed in the high 60s. It was. I mean, it, it got warm, warmer a couple of days, I guess. I brought too many But I'm cuts. saying, know, know the weather where you're going. Know the what you're kind of going to be doing, if there's going to be a lot of walking. Well, I. Which most of the time you in Europe, you're going to be walking a lot. Yes, yeah, so bring walking shoes. Yeah. Shay had to teach me that on my first few trips to Europe. I'm like, all I want to do is sit at cafes. And so I'm not, I'm just going to wear my heels. Well, you're on cobblestone roads, even walking to a cafe. So look, I got these Italian tennis shoes a few years ago, aren't they cute? So that's what I walk in when I'm on a trip. So yeah, that's a good tip is knowing, knowing exactly, like planning out what you want to wear when. I do the best if I plan, okay, each day I'm going to wear. I hate to travel like that though. I mean, but this time I was just a hot mess. Yeah, you I, I hot do mess. have a video. Most of the time, I'll just say, most of the time, because this is a good, I mean, you really do good. Most of the time, I write it down. she writes the, the outfit she's going to wear yes. each day yes. and writes it down. And then I and put which, the jewelry which here's the, with each outfit. I didn't, I didn't have time to do that this time. Yeah. yeah. We, I was on a limited packing schedule. So I ended up with two 70-pound bags. Now, luckily, what she generally I tells me, especially those. when we go on cruises, because you know you have to dress up sometimes when you go to dinner. She'll tell me colors that she's wearing. So if she's wearing, not so you have to wear that color. Not so you have to wear so that color. Not, just if so if I'm wearing, if you're pastels, you're not wearing something that just totally clashes. With well, me. it's yeah. Yeah. So because we take a lot of pictures, so I don't want you in red. If you didn't know yeah. already. You haven't watched us enough, so that's a great tip, yeah. is no, kind of have an idea for your packing, so you can plan that out. And I am really good when the kids are with us to plan, because we can't take as much stuff as I just took. I took, y'all, I took three pairs of house shoes on this street. Three. Shay was about to kill me. Pretty fine. He's like, what would the best shoe? to bring three pairs of house shoes. No, right. Yeah, so that's tip three. Or trick. Okay, now we'll say this. If you're traveling on a is boat this trip. A, is this the fourth? This is the, the fourth, fourth trick. trick. Yeah. Fourth so trick this is the fourth for traveling. Trick for traveling. 
also, there have been times in my life where I was really traveling on a massive budget, like years ago. And if an oh. unexpected something happened, like what happened to us yesterday, mm -hmm. if I would have been in the position I was in, say, 13 years ago, I could have never just moved hotels. It would have been a big old fiasco. So, when they didn't have a room, and then they're like, we don't have a room, you're gonna have to move, and then I'm, they're like, oh, we're gonna refund you. Well, the refund doesn't come for 14 days. I might not have had the money to just pay for another hotel room. Right. You see what I'm saying? So, um, one thing I'll tell you, if you travel on a budget, is my dad always called it emergency money is make sure that you budget in emergency money and it's cash in an envelope that you're not going to spend unless you have an emergency and when we lived Definitely life on a that. massive budget that's something that we always did because i know i cannot tell you how many trips i've been on that i was on a budget that if something would have happened i would not have had money uh, I was at Disney World a few years ago and I was going to be speaking at a conference and the girl having the conference canceled it and me and my best friend in Memphis were stuck there through Hurricane Matthew. Now, if I had not planned money, I mean, I was able to figure out paying for this very expensive hotel because I was just stuck. So this ended up costing me several thousand dollars. And if I would not have had some kind of mindset that I've got money put aside, I wouldn't have been, I don't know what we would have done because hotels were booked up where we were. People were freaking out because of Matthew, so there weren't rooms. We had a room where the conference was, but I didn't have to pay for the room originally, and then I did. So I'm just glad I had money to do that. So my biggest tip would be if you are traveling on a budget is having that emergency and another tip I'll give you in traveling on a budget or trick is try to pay for everything you can up front. When we've been in periods of time where we didn't have much money, we try to pay for every hotel, every play, everything we're going to do before we go. So it's already, so paid, it's for. already paid for and yep. then we've got our set amount of money that's more like for our eating and spending and I always over plan the budget than what I'm actually going to spend because you never know you might sit down like we did last night at a restaurant that's like a restaurant you have at home and it's three times the cost of what you would pay at home so you may not always be ready for that so if you'll just over budget for each meal than you think you would spend at home I usually say when you're traveling plan three times what you would spend at home per meal and then at the end you'll just have some money to take home if you don't spend it so and I you know what I have and something talking about budget and I think something's good especially if you're flying into somewhere if you're traveling overseas do some research yes. as to what like a cab fare is going to cost yes. you to get to wherever you're going to go so because be, because it's really expensive and if you don't know I'm just telling you they'll take advantage of you yes I took advantage of my mom. Yeah. Um, and then I had messaged Kelly saying how much should our cat be. She told me so, she said your mom way overpaid. So, yeah. so just just put this in, in perspective is, you know, she's talking about her mom. We paid 55 euro to get to our plate, our hotel, whereas her mom didn't know how much the cab was or anything like that. And they got her for 200 euro. So, so you so just want to There know. you go. No, no before you go. There yeah, you go. No yeah, before you go. Yeah, and, and make sure a lot of people don't budget in rides and cabs and tipping. tipping you have to have a lot of money for tipping and already have that in your envelope ready to go. That's something we do. Yeah. We go to the bank and get fives and tens and we're ready to tip. So That's another trick. But, but I hope you enjoyed this trick. Make sure that you if you've got questions, like, yes, like it, and subscribe, subscribe, tell people about yes. us. And um, <coughs> if there's if there's a trick you want to know that we didn't talk about, ask in our comments, and yep. we'll tell you. Absolutely. Yes. So, thank you all for right. watching. Thanks. On Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Real life. All right.